Hi everyone, here in this video we are talking about pole strength and the magnetic dipole moment. First we will start with what do you mean by pole strength? See, we know every magnet will always have a certain part close to the tip of the magnet where the ability of attracting other magnetic materials like iron or nickel is much more than the other parts. That parts are called something like poles. When a magnet is freely suspended onto the surface of the earth, it always shows north and south direction. That's called directional property. The pole that shows the north is called as north pole. The pole that shows the south is called as south pole. Though they are two different uh, poles like north and south, the ability of that pole, the ability of that pole, that means either north or south, to attract the other magnetic materials is equal. That ability to attract the other magnetic materials is called as pole strength. So the meaning of the pole strength is its ability to attract the other magnetic materials. It is shown with the letter small m. Both the poles have equal pole strength. That means pole strength of the north pole equal to pole strength of the south pole. But we know as we have discussed earlier, similar poles repel each other. And opposite poles attract each other and vice versa. So the ability of the pole to attract the other materials is called magnetic pole strength. It is measured with a unit, SI unit called ampere meter. Ampere meter. So if you want to write a dimensional formula, you can simply write current I and the meter is represented with a L, I L, right? Being I is being treated like a fundamental unit in the SI system. Now, the other point that I want to discuss about the pole strength is, it's the scalar. It don't have any direction. It has only a magnitude or the direction of the pole strength has no significance. We also know that between this north and south pole, there is a certain distance. That's called the length of the magnet. This line passing through both poles and the center of the magnet is called axial line. On the axial line, distance between the north pole and south pole from the center, both are treated like L and L. So the magnetic length is 2L. But I want to tell you one thing that this magnetic length is not a scalar. It's a vector. Its direction is from south pole to the north pole of the magnet. So if you want to draw the direction of that magnetic uh, uh, length from south pole towards the north pole, that's the direction, right? So be careful that the pole strength is a scalar, but the magnetic length is a vector. Now we'll talk about one more physical quantity called as magnetic dipole moment. So to explain some other properties of the magnet, magnetic pole strength or magnetic length are not sufficient. So magnetic dipole moment is defined as the product of any pole strength of one pole. The magnet has two poles, which is called as a dipole. Pole strength of one pole multiplied by the length or the distance between the two poles is called magnetic moment. So the unit is magnetic pole strength has a unit of ampere meter multiplied by length. Length also has a unit of another meter. So the unit of this entire system will be SI unit ampere meter square. If you want to write a dimensional formula for this, ampere is I, meter is L, L square, right? So 
is it a scalar or a vector is a question that we need to answer now so be careful to look into that magnetic pole strength is a scalar so and magnetic length is a vector so the magnetic moment e is a product of a scalar multiplied with a vector so the scalar multiplied by the vector is also a vector so magnetic moment is a vector then what is its direction it will automatically carry a direction of the vector what is that vector magnetic length what is the direction of the magnetic length vector from south pole to north pole so carry the direction of QL that is from south to north so if you draw a magnet there are poles at the tips which is called as north pole and south pole they have a certain strength to attract the other magnetic materials or to repel the similar poles or to attract the other poles that's called pole strength between these two poles there is a certain distance that is called as magnetic length then magnetic moment has a direction of length that is from south pole this is south pole to north pole so this is the direction of magnetic moment as well as magnetic length itself right so the magnetic moment magnetic length have both the same direction that is from south to north so basing on these basic values we are going to discuss further aspects therefore to help over the next video i also want to tell you one thing that a line passing to the magnet center and north pole and south pole is called axial line and a line passing to the magnetic center and perpendicular to axial line is called as equatorial line is called as equatorial line so in the next video what happens when you modify the physical dimensions of the magnet what happens to the length what happens to pole strength and what happens to magnetic moment let's discuss in the coming video thank you for watching